Alright guys, this is the third video of the calculator tutorials. Um, in this video we will be adding more button actions, what happens when you press the buttons. So we're going to start with the plus minus button, just because that's a, that's a more challenging one. And I want to get that over with. So, so we're going to do an if statement again. I'm going to do if e dot get source equals equals plus minus button because we named it plus minus button. Um, so we need another if statement here again. So we're going to see say if answer field dot get text dot equals because it's not a Oh, what you would call it. It's not an integer, it's a string. Or, or is just these two upward things. If you look for the backslash key, it's the, if you hold shift and press back, backsplash, back, backsplash, backslash key, it will to the, do those upward lines. So just do two of those. And that's just saying or. So if that's true, or answer field dot get text dot equals dash we're going to say answer field dot set whoops dot set text to a dash and then we're going to have an else statement so this else is going to say like it's going to say so we're going to make a Plus minus. Did I add that in? I don't think so. Um, one second. I'm sorry. I messed up somewhere. Did we add that in at the top? I'm not sure. Sorry about this, guys. Yes, we did. We did add plus minus. So, I'm going to say plus minus equals, and inside. Uh, parentheses, we're going to say double dot parse double and then string dot value of answer field dot get text so basically it's going to store whatever is in the answer field as a double so something that can hold decimals so we're going to do plus minus times equals negative 1, or not negative 2, negative 1. So basically it's going to multiply plus minus by negative 1 and store it in plus minus. So we're going to do answer field dot set text, and we're going to set it to plus, actually we got to do string dot value of, because um, it is in the form of double right now, and you cannot set that to a double. Uh, value of plus minus. So now if we go into our uh, program right here, and we do like 78, and we press this plus minus button, it's going to add a negative and say 78, negative 78. If we press it again, it's going to take it away. I know, that's beautiful, isn't it? And also, if it's blank, it'll just add a plus minus. Alright, now on to the clear button. So, we're going to do another if statement. Make sure it's outside of the plus minus if statement. And if we say, if e dot get source equals equals clear button, then we're going to set the answer field equal to dot set text. We're going to just set it to a blank then we're going to do num1 equals 0, num2 equals 0, and we're going to do add click equals 0, sub click equals 0, multi click equals 0, and div click equals 0, and then we also, I think that's it for it. Yes. Alright. So we have the clear button created now, and all of its 
commands, I guess you could say. So if we go into this and we type something in, like 789, and then we hit this clear button, it's going to clear it from the screen. I know, it's beautiful. And then you can add negative and then clear that, and it'll just clear it all out. Um, yeah. Uh, let's also add the decimal button, because we have time to do that today. And then that'll be it for this tutorial after that. So, let's see. Where is my code for the decimal button? I guess I don't need it. So, if e.getSource source equals equals decimal Okay, I gotta spell that right. Decimal button. Then Very sorry about this. I am very unorganized today. Where is my decimal button? I have it in here somewhere. I have all of this printed out, and it's very tough to look through. Um, here we go, I found it. So if e dot get source equals decimal button, then we're gonna have another if statement. If answer field dot get text dot contains so basically it's saying if this contains a a um eh, brain fart again. If it contains a decimal, it's just going to set it, set the answer field to itself already. So it's going to do answer field dot set text to answer field dot get text. That way we can't add more than one decimal because then it just screws up the whole thing and it doesn't work. Now if we do else, it's just going to say, um, Answer field, answer field dot set text to answer field dot get text plus a decimal right there. Okay, so that is it for the decimal button. Now I'll just show you how it works. If we press this decimal button, it's going to add it, and if you press it again and again and again, nothing happens because we have it set to do that, and you can also add it in there, so 87.3, you can do decimals, whatever you want. Um, yeah, so that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm going to be adding the add button, subtraction button, multi-button, and the division button, and then probably the equals button if I can squeeze it in there. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe, and watch the next video. That's all I can say.